What's going on guys? So I figured as I'm on vacation, I will do another soap review video. I stopped into a local home goods and just grabbed kind of a generic bar of soap here. Uh, but I thought it's still better than nothing since my Suzy Bear package and my other two soaps are at home, they've arrived. So as soon as I get back, I can do those reviews. But in the meantime, let's have a little fun. So this is the Hunter and Gray brand of soap right here. And the scent is bourbon and leather. So overall, it's not all natural completely, but it's not horrible. So for the ingredients, um, it has your normal like sodium and stuff and then it has basically purified water coconut oil shea butter glycerin fragrance it's not natural fragrance though uh and then it's gonna have vitamin e so it actually has a lot of good ingredients but it's not an all natural bar of soap so that's what it looks like this is actually the front right here uh it's like a Christmas theme. It's either Christmas or like a combination of Christmas and Father's Day. I don't know. But the scent is kind of why I picked it. They didn't have a whole lot of bars. It was just like this and a few other ones that are sort of similar. Um, so I decided to go with this one. So let's see. I'll open it up here. And we'll see what it smells like. I've never heard of this brand before. I think it's just kind of something you would find out of a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx. <sighs> All right, so yeah, first off, it pretty much just looks like kind of your your generic bar of soap. Um, it just looks like a white cream color bar that says Hunter and Gray on it. Pretty solid. Um, so the scent is a little different than what I was expecting. It's not great it does smell it does smell like it's sort of in between natural and, and artificial so you can kind of get sort of some of that vitamin e and shea butter scent there actually isn't any lye in here but you don't get a super strong leather scent just a very faint leather scent. A lot of citrusy fragrance, actually. It kind of smells like orange, lemon kind of mixture. Lemon. It kind of smells like lemon peel or lime zest. You know, a little bit of lime zest. So it's a not you know it's a three dollar bar of soap. Pretty good size. Kind of what I was expecting. I was hoping for much more. Um, more of like a deeper leather scent, maybe a little bit of oak in there, but it's kind of more on the citrusy side. Kind of smells a little more like perfume than it does like a cologne. So, okay, uh, first impression on this Hunter and Gray soap, not, not great. <laughs> I can't say I really had high expectations for it. It actually kind of smells like, weirdly enough, it kind of smells like Tums. Well, that's yeah that's pretty strange uh so that's my review probably wouldn't recommend getting soap from home goods or tg max but i figured it's better than nothing to do a review of one of these so there we go we will see you next time and the next few videos will be really cool there'll be the soap from suzzy bear and then the other two companies that i'm trying out so we'll see you next time